Hi everyone, I just downloaded uh, Tesla FSD 12.3.4, which is the most recent recent one. So to activate Tesla FSD, you have now to press this button right once, Lakeshore Drive. and uh, then it will start Tesla FSD. So you will see the blue uh, blue symbol here that it's activated. So here is the stop sign. It's going to take right turn here. So this is uh, one of the most advanced Tesla FSD software. Now turn right onto uh, that's what control. Tesla claims now uh, on the market. I, I just downloaded it overnight. I mean, it just you don't have to download it. It automatically downloads it. It just asks your permission to download it. So you can look at the graphics. It's amazing graphics. Uh, all the cars are parked here and uh, uh, it's now turn through. left onto Halsey Road. And it's a little bit raining here, uh, but still I want to test the FSD, see how it works, right? Here is the stop sign again, and it's going to take left turn here. So let's see how it takes the left turn. There is one car coming here. So, and there is another car coming here. So that's good, I mean, Tesla FSD is waiting for the cars to clear. And uh, there is another car coming from the other side and so there is some traffic now it's going to look at the look at it's it's continuously cars are coming from the other side but in the previous version there was a problem with these things when the cars are coming it will just make a decision and try to drive it uh, but now i think it's very much accurate looks like uh, and it's going to interesting so we just waited for the car to clear uh, which is good then there are people here on the middle of the road okay but uh, i mean tesla has to manage it properly um, it was a little bit i mean uh, it was it, the car came in the middle of the road and then it took left turn so it was a little little not uniform i would say uh, so it's raining it started raining here so let's see how it drives in in the rain so the speed limit is here 25 so it's going to drive at 25 speed so i will see if it can i can increase it a little bit because it's going slow a little bit so it has gone a little bit speed has gone up to 30 uh, it's a it's a residential area so i don't want to increase the speed further and sometimes i just downloaded software now so sometimes it takes a few rounds of trips to get accustomed to the new software so if you are just driving you know give some time to software to learn um, learn the route and eventually it will improve improve drastically as you drive more it will improve drastically that's what i observed uh, with the previous versions i'm not sure about this but i think it tesla fsd works on artificial neural network in 500 feet turn left so down it's to going to road. work like that i mean it's going to work it is going to train itself the software now turn left onto littleton road so there is yellow light here so it's going to stop here and uh, so there are a lot of fake videos on the youtube that on the it crosses the red light and uh, uh, it takes wrong turn i don't believe in those i i i'm driving tesla fsd for almost you know the a year now and i did not see such problems yeah you cannot be relying on it like 100 percent i would say but uh, still you need to it it uh, it uh, relieves a lot of headache when you actually drive if you drive long run then you need to drive you have to concentrate on the driving full time uh, but if you are driving if you are using tesla fsd then uh, it really is almost like 70 to 80 percent of your uh, tension so here is the green light now <coughs> so it's going to take left turn it's light rain i mean if it is light rain generally it's not advisable to drive tesla fsd uh, but uh, in 500 feet turn left onto let's see how way. the wiper system and the other stuff yeah wiper got activated now uh, it automatically activates if the, now if the rain is left there, onto Sylvan it will way. activate automatically. So now here is the 
yellow light so it's going to stop here so quite a bit of improvement uh, from uh, uh, the previous version actually previous version was updated uh, two to three weeks ago and uh, they again updated this version so uh, i'm pretty much surprised generally updates comes a little uh, oh. That one was not smooth curve, smooth turn. But uh, yeah, I mean, it gets updated uh, every two months, three months. But uh, it got updated now and Tesla FSD actually, actually, I think they, they the subscription is for like $99 per month now. So it's going to, a lot of people will be using it that's what tesla believes but it's pretty neat uh, there were some hiccups when i was driving uh, but i think over the period of time it will be resolved once i mean i start driving then this car will understand a little more about the about the roads and it will improve eventually So if you like this video, please subscribe for my channel. Uh, I'll be posting a lot of videos on uh, Tesla FSD. I had almost uh, 100 plus videos on Tesla FSD. If you visit my channel uh, from the beginning, I think I started from 11.4. So now it is 12.4. So it's almost quite a bit of development. But if you look at the previous old versions of the video and now the recent one, uh, there is a quite a bit of improvement. still says you know you need to touch the driving wheel in the uh, just to show that you know you are you are basically monitoring the system uh, but that's for the safety of the driver i think it's a little bit on the on the you know left hand side in 500 it's feet driving. it was not that thing in the previous version but it's a little bit uh, going on the on the left hand side of the now turn left. curb so that is a little bit different for this particular drive so here is the left turn in 500 feet your destination will be on the left 